Egyptian vultures are native to southern Europe, India, the Middle East, and all of Africa. Because of their small size compared to other African vultures, they actually have to wait their turn at a carcass until all the other vultures have fed. Only then can they pick up whatever scraps are left behind. Now, typically, Egyptian vultures are not afraid of humans, so they have been found scavenging or searching for food around homes and gardens. Did you start her jet? <laughs> New battery. They also are the first bird of prey ever to be protected by law. In ancient Egypt, these birds were protected by the pharaohs, and they actually came to be known as, came to be considered sacred. And if you look at hieroglyphics today, you'll notice that Osiris's image appears right there in the hieroglyphics, along with all of the other images. She's a little confused. <laughs> they are beautiful, but not necessarily the smartest vultures. Now these guys can be found nesting and living on cliff sides. They perch generally on flat surfaces. Osiris is a female. She's actually the only Egyptian vulture that we know of that's currently being used in education today. Now these guys have been known to raid flamingo colonies, and they are they will actually eat the eggs and the babies all while the adults try to drive them away. Now, Cyrus is going to give us a little demonstration of one of their most famous behaviors. These guys are actually the first bird of prey ever observed using a tool to obtain their food. She's going to come on down over here. She's going to pick this rock up with her beak and hurl it down onto that egg to crack it open. All right, she's got the rock. Straight through the egg. <laughs> okay, she's got the rock. <laughs> rock, vulture, egg. <laughs> she's got that rock. She's going to hurl it at the egg. <laughs> okay, Osiris, you're embarrassing me. She's going to pick that rock up. She's going to hurl it. <laughs> Can we try that one more time? Last time, I pumped. All right, she's going to pick it up and hurl it. Tap <laughs> it gently. With smaller eggs, these guys will actually pick those up directly in their beak and throw them straight onto the ground so that they can crack them open and break them open and get to that juicy protein treat on the inside. She liked it so much, she's got to do it once more. All right, very <laughs> nicely done, Osiris. Give her a hand. She did a great demonstration for us. As I mentioned before, the World Bird Sanctuary started in 1977 with just a handful of native raptor species in Walt's backyard. And today we've grown into the facilities that you see today and this wide, amazing spectrum of birds. We're able to educate thousands of people each year thanks to the generous contributions of people like you. The next bird I'm going to bring out is a close cousin to that crow that we saw earlier. This is Mischief, our white-necked raven. These beautiful birds are one of the most intelligent birds in the world. They can distinguish between colors, shapes, sizes. They can even count all the way up to seven. What Mischief does in particular is she is very well trained to accept your donations. Now, if you loved our show, feel free to give her a 20. If you liked our show, give her a 10. If all you've got is a 5 or a single, she likes those too. She can't take checks, but she doesn't do credit. I hope you guys enjoyed our show. Please come back at 3.30 to see birds in concert. Have a great day at the sanctuary and a safe trip home. Bye for now.